everyone and welcome to my latest video. Uh, the footage you're about to see is an enjoyable session again on the River Mersey. Firstly we went to Cod Corner just to kill some time before we got bait on the Wirral side at Derby Pool. We also have a time lapse of the river on there as well. Uh, then we head over to Otters Pool and we fish the corner that we fished on a previous video and we get fish as well. Uh, stick around to the end where we'll uh, go through all the uh, stuff on the maps uh, to show you where things are etc and without further ado uh, here's the video hope you enjoy hi everyone so we've arrived at the car park for cod corner which is woodside ferry terminal in the background there you can see the u-boat i'll just uh, turn it around and there's a whole story to this to this guy and I think it includes that it's quite interesting have a look online I'll put a link in the description and that's the uh, that's the ferry terminal the tide is on the ebb it is pulling like crazy but We'll just kill a bit of time before we go to New Brighton to dig some worm. Another pool over there. The liner in. Genuinely surprises me every time how large this river is. And another cracking day fight. Right, I'll uh, get over there with my dad. We'll see if we can find some fish. My dad there's got one rod out. I've got two rods out. This is known as Cod Corner. It's just by the ferry terminal. Woodside Ferry Terminal. It's an absolutely lovely spot to look over Liverpool and to look at the river. Let's uh, see if we can find some fish. Catch in a bit if we get anything. So I'll let you guys just see what bait we're on with today. So we've got some frozen worm, some mackerel. And some frozen squid. Just already opened one there. And we'll see if we can winkle anything out. Only a short session here while we wait for the tide to ebb away and we can go and get some worm. Let's see if we can find anything. I'll uh, catch you in a bit. So I thought I'd just show you one of my dad's inventions. The one we're fishing marks like this with the railing. There's Velcro here to keep it from coming off. And he's made some rod holders now. That's for another part of the design that I'll, uh, I'll try and show you at a later date. And this part here is just off a motor and it's a uh, the magnet. I'll show you in more detail at some point and we'll probably do a tutorial on how to make one. But uh, yeah, seems to do the trick. And that's how he's attached the Velcro to the uh, to the rest. Okay, so I just leant back on this bush. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Huge bloody thorns, spikes. I'll put in the description what type of uh, bush this is, so you can avoid it. Anyway, I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> it's a bit quiet at the moment.
we'll persist for a while while we've nothing to do. And then we'll go and get some worm afterwards. And then fish the evening tide. Low tide today is 7.30. High tide being around 1 o'clock in the morning. I'll get back to you in a bit if we get any fish. Well, that goes to the shore. A full joy mackerel on that. Turned into a cartoon fish. <laughs> In. Just pulled this up with the with my gear, and there's a an egg sack. And there's definitely something in there growing away. I'll put on the screen exactly what it is, and then we've got another one. I think that one, yeah, is empty. That one. Oh, it's definitely not empty. Now I'll, uh, I'll lower this back down and then it can carry on growing. Just coming out from Derby Pool, 
Just gonna go and do some pumping of some worm for our session this evening. All the shellfish again. And again, this whole stretch has been littered with shellfish this winter. And all the storms we've been having. Well, we'll get some worm and I'll catch you in a bit. I obviously can't speak for anyone else, but there's something weirdly nice about being on a, a beach at night. shining off the sand lovely kettle's boiling just gonna have a brew and then we'll get fishing again you see the rods on the back there I've just had a really good bite and before I could even say that we were fishing as soon as I popped it in a really really stonking good bite and uh, almost definitely a cod bite so fingers crossed uh, if we get anything I'll uh, I'll let you know right, I'll uh, catch you in a bit absolutely cracking night again on the Mersey not a breath of wind tonight. There's the rods in the water. Oh, bite on there then. Yeah, just had a little cod. Again, very small for they're very small this season. But it's a uh, it's a cod nonetheless. I'll get it measured and uh, let you know what it measured up. I'll just get him back. The colours on him are fantastic. There's a slight iridescence to them. As ever, go and get your granddad, please.
just had another fish. Another cod, a bit bigger this time. 29 centimeters, nearly 30, they're getting bigger. Oh, look at them there. Anyway, we're getting back. In. Again, it's a fish. All the iridescence on him. Really healthy fish. Let's get him back anyway. Another wave coming through now from that ball. If you can hear that. No, that's a wash from the bolt. Yeah, well, I'll leave you away from this noise. I'll catch you in a bit if we get anything else. Just coming up to high tide now. 8.75 metre tide. It's a bit quiet at the moment. bite for a while, at least about 20 minutes since our last bite. I'm back to you soon if we have any fish. It's just had a bite. Let's see if there's anything on. Dad's just had a decent white in, I'm getting a bite on there now as well, I think. So that's a very decent white in, 33 centimetres. So that's a keeper for the table. Just let you have a little look at him. Keeping him for the table. We'll see if we've got anything on this rod. Just had a good bite. We got something on. It's all right. It's only my line. Just bring it over. Oh. Let me get into the light. We got a little cod. Put light on him. Something in his mouth there. What's he got in? A little fish in his mouth.
this little cod. Okay, so we just had another cod. And ten, which is thirty-one centimeters. Some lovely markings on him. Natural line down there. He's just undersized, so he'll go back. Unfortunately, again, I told him to go and tell his granddad and uh, see if we can get any more. So that's the finish of the session, back in the car. <laughs> We're on our way back home. A bit of a drive, but uh, that's the way it goes. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get some more fish next time we come, or wherever we go. And uh, we'll uh, try and find some fish. Hi everyone, if you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. I do hope you like it. Do like and subscribe um, and hit the bell notification icon if you want to be notified of our next videos. I'll just go through with you now on the screen the areas we went to in a bit more detail. So as you can see here, we have the River Mersey. The three locations are here at Otter's Pool, there at Cod Corner and there at Derby Pool to get some bait. I'll just zoom in for you now on the area that's referred to as Cod Corner. It's technically just a little area close by to the Woodside Ferry Terminal. So this being the Ferry Terminal here, the actual area that we fished in the first section of the video is just on this corner here, and that would be known as Cod Corner. I've just zoomed in a little bit for you here, just to show you the two car parks that we know of that you can park on. Uh, I would suggest um, during the correct times, make sure that you pay the parking fees. Don't think it's terribly expensive, but um, make sure you don't get a ticket. So the first car park is here and the second car park is here. Uh, just a short walk again to this corner here, uh, known as Cod Corner. Just zoomed in on this cone to show you in a little bit more detail. Uh, the flow through here is quite strong. So if you're fishing on this side, I'd probably recommend maybe as the tide's coming up or over high. Here tends to be a really slack area of the water uh, on both the flood and the ebb. So that's generally a nice area to fish. It is snaggy again and you will lose tackle in both of these areas. Uh, so use the appropriate gear. As I showed on the video, uh, this is the U-boat story here. Uh, very interesting, I'll put the links in the description for that. Uh, a very interesting story and do check that out. Um, just as a side note for this area as well, if you're gonna be fishing this section here just outside from the car park, there are chains around these areas uh, for the terminal itself. So just be very careful you don't get snagged on those. I've just zoomed in for you now to the Derby Pool area. This is the Derby Pool pub. That's the pub car park itself, and these are the public car parks. We normally park on that one, but do be careful because on busy times, it can get very packed. I'll just show you in a bit more detail here as well. This is the area we got our bait. The worm in this area do tend to be a little bit smaller than the ones we get up the New Brighton end, um, but the further out you go, the bigger the worm are. We normally stick to this section here and get, get plenty of little worms. Um, as you can see, this is the new Brighton Promenade uh, for a bit of context. And you access this area via that there, which is Bayview Drive. I'll just show you the next location now. The final location on the video is here, just on this corner. And that's where we had all the fish. Here is the car park that we parked, and it's just a short walk to that mark. As you can see in the area, it's very rough ground again, so just be careful that you're choosing the correct gear to minimise your red tackle loss.
Um, the Britannia pub is here just for a bit of context and there's parking all the way along here. If there's anything I've missed out on any of the videos, uh, do pop a comment in the comment section and message me directly if you want to. Um, I will pop all the postcodes and any links that I can think of in the description. Uh, if you like the videos, do like and subscribe if you want to. Um, and obviously let me know as well what you'd like to see in any future videos. Um, I hope you have a, a nice rest of your day and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.